Hello everyone to a frozen morning here in Bavaria in Germany. This is the Renault Scenic with the big battery, 87 kilowatt hours can be used, front wheel drive with 216 horsepower and today I'm going to do a range test at 130. I'm charging the car to 100%. Uh, I plugged in at 78% and got 23 kilowatt. Now at 82% I get 1516 kilowatt. So it's going to be a while <laughs> before I can even start. I thought I want to plug in at a lower state of charge so the battery get warm because I have no idea how the battery heating works since there's no button. I navigated here to a charger but I don't think it did anything. <laughs> <laughs> this car has 20 inch wheels, 235, front end, rear on, winter tires of course, so, and it has a heat pump, that's very important. So it's going to be a while, like I said, 200%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I changed my plan, I'm just charging to 90% because from uh, 85 to 100% it says 37 minutes. And it stopped charging at 85%. They had to unplug and plug in again. I don't know why. <laughs> and it doesn't tell me uh, the charging power I'm charging, just the time when it's finished. Not in, in this window neither. In the app also not. I only see it on the charger. But I remember when I plugged in AC, it tell, told me uh, 10 kilowatt or so. I remember that. I am on my way, I'm driving 133 on the, on the speedometer, which is 130 GPS speed. So I have the kilometers reset here, but I always thought that this here is the average consumption, but no, it's the instant consumption. So to see the average consumption, I have to go over here into car, energy, and then here I see the average consumption and only one trip, no time. Oh, uh, hopefully I filmed this <laughs> when I started. <laughs> um, um, I filmed it with the GoPro, so I know when I started, so we have the time and the ending as well. Yeah, yeah. so not amazing when it comes to trips. I have my uh, heat settings on 22 degrees auto, uh, seat heater on full, but it's just cold in here. I'm pretty sure I will turn the heat down and I will turn the seat heater down as well. I did it on every drive so far. I might even do it right now already. No AC. And I'm in comfort mode. I'm not going into eco. I want the heat. I want to I wanna be comfortable and everything. I'm at 65%, use 25% of the battery, and it was 66.5 kilometers driven. That is 200, what did I say, 66, I think. 266 kilometers of full range, if we calculate that. My average consumption is 299 watt hours per kilometer, minus one degree out there. My heat, I turned it down to 20 and a half degrees. Um, it was just 21 and it was a bit too warm, so I turned it down. It's nice that the heat in here is amazing. So it heats up the interior really nice. I love it. The drive so far has been also amazing. Didn't have to slow down or accelerate. Perfect. Uh, overtaking a few cars, but again, I, didn't, I wasn't stuck behind anything. All is nice. Now something important, after I turned around I navigated back to the charger and in this car this means I found out later that the car is now preheating a battery for perfect charging. I didn't know that, it doesn't give you any info that it's doing this, but it means that the consumption will be higher than without. I have no idea with how much power it's preheating the battery, I'm guessing around 5 to 6 kilowatt. 
I already navigated back to the charger um, because when I turned around I thought let's do it see what it says and if it changes the because Google Maps tells me the state of charge I will arrive and I wanted to see what it's gonna say and it said 15% and then I navigate it and now it says 11% so I'm gonna keep that uh, I want to see that is it going up or down because if it's going up I want to arrive with around maybe even less than 10% if it's going up we're gonna make a little detour to Munich and if it's going down we're staying that way consumption is still it's 308 now <laughs> because uh, on the way that here it usually uh, is a tiny bit downhill and on the way back it's a tiny bit uphill so we'll see um, how is it to drive the Renault Scenic e-tech on the highway at highway speeds in Germany the 130 is a bit loud and it's the wind noise so it's not uh, the, the tire noise or something and I did it in the other video so when you drive 150 it's not a big difference from 130 um, you also can hear the motor a tiny bit at 130 but it's not a problem at 130 it's fine at 150 the motor is a bit annoying um, cruise control is amazing if you don't use cruise control steering is also uh, great um, steering assist is great on a highway I like it it takes a long long time till it tells you hey you're not touching the steering wheel above 10 seconds until you get a real warning where it complains so this is just a message it's another 10 seconds so for 20 or more seconds you don't have to hold the steering wheel and it recognizes my touch even though I'm touching it very lightly on the left bottom here amazing so this is awesome now 12 percent so maybe we so we will do the, the detour like i said that's nice um yeah suspension i don't know for this car i thought i, I uh, there would be a bit, bit more comfortable suspension I was hoping a Nissan Araya had a nice uh, suspension. I'm a bit surprised. It was the all-wheel drive, so it, it felt a bit more powerful. I pe felt good. Yeah. On the highway, the front-wheel drive in this car is no issue. You don't, since you're not accelerating like crazy. And if you have to pass, it's no problem. The power is there. So that's not it. By the way, what I forgot to say, um, the range display, very interestingly, when you reset your trip, it also resets. So it showed 350 kilometers or so, then it reset the trip and it showed 400 something. I missed it I'm so sorry I missed the 50% mark but I calculated and it's 259 kilometers of range now and Google Maps also tells me I arrive with 10% not 12% um, and my average consumption is 315 so I guess I go back right back to the charger <laughs> not uh, do a detour but again we still have a bit of kilometers if i could do a detour we'll see if it goes up but if it stays at 10 percent i'm gonna go back no 11 now <laughs> Thank you.
Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. What a stupid question. How can you do it with NCharge? NCharge is the app that you use when you are charging at a charger and you rate it. You tell the charging provider, hey, something is not working or it's amazing or something is missing. Could you fix that? All of this stuff. You can take challenges where you drive a whole route and test a couple of chargers. And sometimes they also have surveys from car manufacturers or charging provider for you to fill out. When you do all of these things, you earn kilometers and stars and with this you can charge for free. Check them out in the link in the description below. I arrived with 11%, drove 206.3 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 208 kilometers and 315 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption. It was a great drive, uh, traffic wise minus 2 to minus 1 degrees and in this configuration um, today this car from 90% down to 11% drove 208 kilometers that's a full range of 263 kilometers with a 87 kilowatt hour usable uh, energy uh, battery that's not incredibly amazing her consumption was pretty high and the heat was not strong you saw at the end I even put it to 20 and a half or even 20 degrees um, it wasn't needed because it's nice and warm in there. Ah, that's what I got. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm doing a charging test right now. I see from 8% to 90% takes 50 minutes. I saw 144 kilowatt on the charger just now, but at around 10%. Let's hope that the charging is good. And like I said, I charge to 90% and then we're gonna do the same test at 110 kilometers an hour. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you wanna know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.